Welcome to lecture number three, code.org. Today we are going to talk about code.org and how to log in and use some information on that website. To log into the website, you have to do the following to sign in with your secret word. Go to www.code.org, click on the sign in button and enter the section code in the section box. Now we have here two sections, 5A and 5B with their unique section code. So if you are in 5A, you have to use JSWJLV. If you are in 5B, you have to use HSRRTC. Click on your name, type your secret word and hit sign in. And you will find all this information, including the secret word and the login card that you will be getting Let's talk about the power of words and their influence on you. What should you do when someone uses mean or hateful language on the internet? So we have to interpret to understand something based on your point of view. This isn't fun anymore. Hey, what's up? Ready to work on our project? Wait, is something wrong? No, well, yeah. That player three got online and was trash talking. Trash talking? Really? Yeah, and I know I should ignore it, but well, words do hurt sometimes. I know how you feel. I once posted a photo of my dog, and because I forgot to make the photo private, anyone could comment on it. What happened? The comments were totally mean, and I didn't even know those people. What did you do? You mean after I burst into tears? Well, I remember the rules of S-T-O-P stop. S. Step away. T. Tell a trusted adult. O. Okay sites first. P. Pause and think online. I tried to follow that advice, and believe me, it's not easy. So I told my big sister, who said that true friends support each other. No bashing allowed. Remember, there's always someone else on the other side of that screen. How do you treat others online? After watching the video, now you should know the power of words. What does this video say about the saying sticks and stone may break my bone, but words can never hurt me? Do you know? Why do you think those other players said those things to guts, such as slowpoke? What's the meaning of empathy? To imagine the feelings that someone else is experiencing. When someone is cyberbullying you, you have to use the word stop. S means step away. T, tell a trusted adult. O, okay, site first. P, pause and think online. 